Well, organizers are hard at work getting ready for pride celebrations in Red Deer this weekend. And with it come rainbow crosswalks. They were unveiled in the city's downtown core this morning, but some people are wondering if they will remain intact. CTV's Taylor Osteen explains why. The sun was shining for the rainbow crosswalk reveal in downtown Red Deer Thursday morning. This is a statement and everybody should be allowed to make those statements. Community members came to help break it in. I just think it's important for all community members to support them and make them feel welcome. And show their support as allies of the LGBTQ community. You know, when we're celebrating pride and we're putting the crosswalk down, um, that just shows that, you know, we, we recognize that they face those kinds of discriminations and we stand with them and support them. I'm happy that pe people in our community who, who, especially if they do feel marginalized, have a week to be able to come out and say, I matter. In 2016, the Red Deer crosswalks were covered in skid marks, a form of vandalism and protest to the pride symbol. Other communities in Alberta this year, like Lethbridge and Fort McMurray, dealt with similar acts. Organizers prepared for that this year and aren't letting a minor spill on the rainbow get them down. Pride Society members unsure if the mess they had to mop up was intentional, but say residents have already offered to protect the crosswalks from vandals. We also have people that uh, have generously donated their time to come and guard our crosswalk. Joel Graham says Red Deer's pride scene is still young. He says five years ago, only a handful of people attended a small barbecue but the numbers are growing. Our biggest event last year was 350 people, and we're, we're, we're expecting somewhere around the six to 800 mark at our largest event this year. Central Alberta Pride Week festivities officially kick off this Sunday with Pride in the Park in Bower Ponds, and it runs from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. And in the meantime, you can expect these colorful crosswalks to stay put until the end of Pride Week at the end of next week. Reporting from Red Deer, Taylor Osteen, CTV News.